Now we will see fourth problem which is important problem from the examination point of view. Find the values of x and y if x matrix uh, if first matrix is given as 1, 2, 3, 3, second matrix is given as x, 0, 0, y. And also after multiplication, they are giving the answer as x, 0, 9, 0. That means here two things you have to understand clearly. First, you have to multiply these two given matrices. Then for that answer, again you have to equate this matrix. That means here two concepts you are using. What are the two concepts you are using? Here, multiplication of matrices you are using. Multiplication of matrices. This is the first concept we are using. Multiplication of matrices. And also, equality of matrices. Equality of matrices. So, these two concepts you have to use to evaluate the values of X and Y. So, these two concepts are very useful to evaluate the values of x and y. Now, using those two concepts, we will find the value now. Now, what is the order of first matrix? 2 by 2. Now, what is the order of second matrix? Again, 2 by 2. So, here the orders are same. Here, first matrix, number of columns is 2. Here, number of rows 2. So, multiplication of matrix is possible. So, after multiplication, what is order? Again, 2 by 2. So, after multiplication also, you will get a 2 by 2 matrix. After that, you have to equate this one. That is what I explained here. Multiplication of matrices is one concept. Equality of matrices is another concept. Now, we will see the first answer now after multiplication. Now, first row, first column. So, 1 into x, x, 2 into 0, 0. Similarly, first row, second column, 1 into 0, 0, 2 into y, 2y. Next, 3 into x, second row, first column. So, 3 into x, 3x. Next, second row, second column, 3 into 0, 0, 3 into y plus 3y. Now, is equal to x, 0, 9, 0. So, now, if we equate the corresponding elements here, first we will simplify then we will equate the corresponding elements. x plus 0, x, because there is no value for 0. Then 2y, here 0, there is no value. 3x, now 3y, because there is no value for 0. Now that is equal to x, x, 0, 9, 0. So now, if two matrices are equal and corresponding elements are same. Now, if you equal the corresponding elements, here x, here also x. So, we cannot evaluate the value of x. Now, here 2y, here it is a 0. So, 2y, you can equate to 0. So, that y value you will get. Next, 3y, 3x, I can equate to 9. So, this is equal to 9 and this 2y, I can equate to this one to find the value. Even 3y also, I can equate to 0 to find the value. So, this is the main concept. That means, the corresponding elements are same if two matrices are equal. Here, I explain the same concept here, equality of matrices. So, 2y, I can equate to 0. From that, y, I can evaluate. 3y, I can equate to 0. From that, y, I can evaluate. That is up to you. Anything you can equate. But x value, if you want to evaluate, I should equate this uh, and uh, this. Because this is present in which position? Second row, first column. Second row, second row. That is why I showed with the arrow mark. Same position. Okay, so now 2y is equal to 0. Now 2y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 by 2, nothing but 0. So this is the value of y. Similarly, what about x? 3x is equal to 9. 9. Now x is equal to 9 divided by 3. 3 ones, 3 threes. So x value we got, y value we got. Therefore, x is equal to 3 y is equal to 0. So, that is your answer. So, for x is equal to 3, y is equal to 0, these values are possible. So, only thing is you have to use these two concepts to understand this uh, problem. x and uh, y. So, in this way, we are having another problem also. In the same procedure, same manner we have to follow. That means, first you have to multiply, then equate the resulting matrix to this one. Then use these two concepts 
to find a x as well as y these two concepts are very very important then after finding y value x value you underline the answer so this is your answer x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 0 now in the same manner we will see uh, some other problem 